evening everyone good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life this is desmos and you're welcome to the channel of truth enlightenment freedom and the channel of breaking up as free if you are new on this channel i talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse i talk about spirituality and i talk about personal and self-development and if any of that resonates with you i invite you guys to join us give us a like share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already and for those that have always been with us you are welcome back and i thank you for your love and support so this is a very quick announcement i do my videos organically usually i do not script um my work rarely i do that depending on uh, the subject i'm talking about but normally i don't i don't script my work so all you have to understand is that uh, these videos they are going out to specific individuals so it doesn't always mean that everything I'm going to talk about is going to resonate with your own story. So you only have got to pick out the message that is going to help you along your journey. And you always have to leave the rest because that means that the rest is not for you. So just pick out what is for you and just leave the rest. So um, today I would like to talk about spiritual awakening and uh, being highly woke. So you see, there's always the dark side to this whole thing. The dark side to being highly woke, highly awakened. It comes with a lot of beautiful things, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you're realizing that you're stepping into this uh, other version of yourself that you've never known about, you even never knew existed within you, but you're starting to get out of this shell and get out of this bubble to live your best life. But you see, along that process, it is not always peaches and cream when going through this process of awakening. You have got to understand that there's going to be a lot of mood swings. It's going to be a very emotional journey. Sometimes you may find yourself crying, you may find yourself alone, you may find yourself depressed. On top of all the beautiful things that come with it, there is always a dark side to an individual that is highly, highly awakened. So I'm going to give you guys in this video the seven dark sides of being highly awakened. The very first thing you'll experience as a person who is awakening or who is highly woke is depression so normally the, the depression comes in that uh, time when you're going through the dark night of the soul so that is when you're shedding skin you know you're shedding skin you're shedding your older self so you're stepping into this newer version of yourself you don't really know what is going on and now you do not know you know where you're coming from you know you know where you've been you know where you're coming from you know what has been what has been happening along your journey but at the same time you don't know where you're going so you're in the middle of this uh, wilderness. It's like you're in the wilderness whereby you do not know what is going on with your life. So normally it happens that you're going to experience depression. So most of the times, and that thing normally, normally happens within the first, let's say about the first six months to one year at least. You know, sometimes depression can take a very, very long period of time. Whereby you're going to go to depression, you're going to be depressed, you're going to find yourself, you cannot do nothing, you don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to eat, you don't want to go anywhere, you don't want to be around anyone, you just want to be by yourself. So in that process, you're going through depression. And normally that depression, like I've said, it is brought about, it is caused by that period whereby you're going through that dark, the dark night of the soul. You know what I mean? So you're trying to give birth to this version of you which you, you, which you don't really know in detail. And you're trying to leave a lot of things behind. So depression is one of the things you're going to experience, ladies and gentlemen, as a person that is going through a spiritual awakening or the person that is actually highly awakened. The second one I want to talk about today in this video, the dark side of being highly awakened is um, you're going to experience a period when you start losing interest in sex. Now, of course, at some point in time, we are all sexually active. You know what I mean? So, of course, you're going on dates, you know, you have, you have some boyfriends, maybe you have some girlfriends or you're married or things like that. But when you start this journey of awakening, you know, you're going through this spiritual transformation there will come that moment when you're going to lose interest in sex. You're continuously going to be offer, get, getting the offers, you know what I mean? You'll be sometimes meeting he, people here and there, you know, sometimes people, they want to be with you, maybe they want to sleep with you, potential partners, maybe potential girlfriends or whatever, but you're going to realize that actually sex is no longer a thing for you, you know what I mean? Yes, you miss it sometimes because you remember that you remember that you've always been sexually active prior to the awakening, but at this moment in time, you realize that actually sex is not on top of the list of, of your priorities, the things that really need to get done. So as much as you want it, but you also realize that no matter how good the offer looks, 
no matter who comes along your journey or who you meet along your journey, you are usually less, less interested in sex. So a lot of people who are dating in this process of spiritual, of spiritual transformation, they're also going to realize that normally they are not too much engaged into sex. So sometimes it may even sometimes get boring if you're dating and you're in a relationship, whereby sometimes you cannot even offer that sex that you used to offer before prior to the awakening. You know what I mean? So as a person that is going through spiritual transformation, you're also going to experience that period whereby you will usually, not always the case, but you will usually um, lose interest in sex. The third dark side of being spiritually awakened um, is when you're usually going to have very few friends or sometimes no friends at all. So in this period of spiritual transformation, it is important for you to understand that uh, I've told you guys this is a journey normally you take, but you, you take as an individual. So nobody's walking along with you. You know what I mean? So you're not going through this, this spiritual transformation with your families, you know, your wives, your husbands. So you realize that actually this is a journey that only you understand. It is only you actually who knows where you've been. And at the same time, it is only you who understands where you're going sometimes. And not a lot of people around you can actually get you. So sometimes you're finding yourself a lot of times explaining things. People don't understand you. People don't know where you're going. People don't know why you're saying the things you're saying or people don't know why you're doing the things that you're doing. It's because you are in a different bubble whereby you have gotten out of that lower frequency and you're moving into higher frequencies. And most of the times, these frequencies are too high for the people that have always been around you. So sometimes people don't get you and don't understand you. So you're going to realize that actually a lot of friends that you used to have prior to the awakening, a lot of people are falling off your circle. So you do not have a lot of friends around you. You know, sometimes even family members are no longer calling you. You're in this kind of place whereby you're feeling like you're really lonely. But at the same time, you're embracing this loneliness because this loneliness is forcing you. It's like the universe is forcing you to go within yourself so that you can understand you need to grow as an individual. But sometimes for you to grow, you need to actually leave some, leave some people and things and places behind. So it's the period as to why you find yourself as a person that is highly evolving. You're losing a lot of friends. You've got few friends or sometimes you decide to be just by yourself and just do your own thing and keep on walking this journey of spiritual evolution. Now, the fourth one I want to talk about, the dark side of being highly awakened, is um, you are going to be thirsty for knowledge. You're going to find yourself uh, scrolling through the libraries. You know, you're going out there, you're seeking information, you are reading a lot of books, you're watching a lot of material, a lot of content. Me personally, I'm not a person who likes reading books. I've never liked reading books even for, uh, for as long as I remember. I never liked reading books. But as a person who likes reading, if a person is into reading, a lot of guys like reading, reading different types of books. You may different, uh, sometimes find yourself that you are actually thirsty uh, for finding knowledge. This knowledge, you want to use it to go deeper into your purpose. You know what I mean? So you're trying to see and find that real meaning in life. Most of the times you're not yet there. You, you do not really know where you're going or where it is you want to go or where it is you want to be. But you're so thirsty and very, very desperate to find your purpose. You know what I mean? So you're waking up every single day and you're thinking about what it is you want to do because sometimes maybe even maybe you are, you are you've already discovered that that job that you've been doing all, the, all these years is no longer serving you, is not good for you, for your emotional or for your mental health. You're seeking the deeper meaning in life is the reason as to why a lot of people who are going through this transformation and the spiritual awakening, they're also finding that period whereby they are extremely thirsty for finding their purpose. So you're reading books, you're educating yourself, you're going on uh, trips, you're going on uh, spiritual trips or things like that. You want to find the way or the, uh, the purpose in life and the thing that resonates with your soul so that you can always become the highest version of yourself. So you are knowing and you're understanding that these things that you've been doing previously, they're usually, they have usually been keeping you on a low frequency. So you're trying to find, to move yourself into the higher frequencies. And that is what causes you to find, to, be, to become extremely thirsty uh, about finding your purpose. So the fifth one, the dark side of um, being highly awake is um, at some point you're going to realize that you're very detached from um, your older self. So there used to be that version of you that you used to know, you know, you used to be hanging around with friends, you used to like things, you maybe used to, used to, used to like doing different activities or going to different places or dating specific kind of women or specific kind of men. But at this time you're feeling like you're, you're so detached from your older self, you know what I mean? It looks as if, or sometimes it feels as if you can no longer recognize 
the person that you used to be. You know what I mean? So it's like you're out there in the wilderness and you are thinking that you do not want to go back to where you've been. You know what I mean? You already know what it looks like back there. But at the same time, you do not want to be where you've been. So you're moving out into greener pastures to become the, bigger, uh, the highest version of yourself. So you are completely detached on the soul level and on the physical level from your older self, the thing that used to identify you. This also includes a lot of friends that you used to hang out with, the places that you used to go, the things that you used to do, all the things that you used to think that you love, apparently that you love, you're now realizing that actually those things are no longer working for you. So you completely feel detached uh, from that person that you used to be. So that called, that is called detaching from your older self. Now the sixth one, the dark side of being uh, highly awakened is um, when sometimes you may sometimes struggle a little bit to find a partner. You know what I mean? There may come a time whereby you are sometimes in the middle of your journey. You know what I mean? You've been using all these years, all this time you've been working on yourself, you've been doing all these beautiful things for yourself. But now you're seeing that uh, there is almost nobody can match up with your frequency. You know what I mean? I know they are always out there, you know what I mean? And there are always other beautiful souls like you. But at the same time, you look around you and you're seeing that sometimes it's very difficult to go out on a date or to start finding the right person that you want to date. or you want... Sometimes you want to share your life with somebody else, you know what I mean? But at the same time, the people that are actually most of the times coming to you or presenting these opportunities to you uh, as potential partners or even sometimes friends, you're realizing that actually those people, they are, not, they are not on your frequency. And sometimes being around or even sometimes dating a person who is not on your frequency is almost like you're going to feel like there's a very big weight on your or there's a very big weight on your shoulder or on your, on your head. And you feel like each and every single day when you're carrying on with those individuals, you're continuously going to be teaching them each and every single day because remember that you're on a frequency, a higher frequency, and they're usually on a, usually on a lower frequency. And you usually feel like you're some, kind, some kind of a teacher who is going to be continuously teaching somebody. Sometimes it can be exhausting, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that you don't want to teach these people, but sometimes it can be exhausting where you feel that you always have to be teaching somebody each and every single day. You know what I mean? So that's the reason as to why mostly all these people that are going through this journey of spiritual transformation, highly awakened people, they always have a problem like finding love. You know what I mean? You come to that point whereby you want to get out there and you want to start dating. You know what I mean? You want to start meeting somebody significant, other things like that. But it's very, very difficult. You're having extremely, uh, extreme difficulty in uh, finding the right person to date. Now, the last one, which is the seventh one, the dark sides of uh, being spiritually awakened is... Um, as a person who is spiritually awakening, uh, awakening or spiritually awakened and you're going through this spiritual transformation, you're also going to, pre going to be presented by that world that has always been behind the veil. You know what I mean? So you guys know in my earlier videos, I used to share a lot of videos about that thing, what is happening behind the veil. So normally what is happening behind the veil is not a pretty sight. You know what I mean? Because remember that when, you, when you're starting to see things that are behind the veil, you're starting to see the truth for what it is. You know what I mean? So you're starting to, to discover your parents for, for who they really are. You're starting to see a lot of people, your friends, you know, sometimes a lot of you guys are coming to that realization that actually maybe you've been dealing with narcissists all these last 20 years of your life. You're realizing that these, these individuals, they are very dangerous for you and sometimes it's very difficult to accept this. You know what I mean? So you are like waking up every single day and you're thinking that how could I have been involved with this person all these years and I didn't even know this or I couldn't even see it in that time. So you are struggling, your soul and your mind is struggling to fight with this, um, with this new reality that you've now started to discover that there is a lot of things that you used to know, a lot of people that you used to know be a part of you. And you've just, you, you have finally realized that those individuals, probably they're evil, maybe they're narcissists, probably they're psychopaths. Or probably, you know, like those are the individuals who have never had your best interests at heart, including even sometimes your, your own friends and families. You know what I mean? So you're struggling to, uh, to accept the new reality of what you're seeing behind the veil. You know what I mean? It's very, very difficult for you to digest this. It takes a lot of time, you know what I mean? It can even sometimes take more than a year for you to really understand and come to that acceptance that, okay, so whatever I'm seeing now, I'm seeing it for what it is and is the truth. So you're starting to accept this truth and embrace this truth as a part of your new reality as you're leaving those things behind because now you're starting to accept. You will have problems in the beginning, but at some point in time, you will come to that realization whereby you will usually finally accept that, okay, so this is what has been happening, you know what I mean, behind my back. Things have been, uh, people, things have been happening behind your back. People have been doing things behind your back. Now you're able to see and tap into, because I've told you guys, as you're going through this spiritual awakening, you're also embracing and wearing these spiritual glasses. So they're helping you to see a lot of things, know a lot of things, a lot of discernment and everything like that. You're highly intuitive. Most of you are getting uh, actually sometimes super psychic. So you're starting to really see what has been happening behind your back. 
the things that you the things that never made a lot of sense to you before but now everything is coming uh, to your face and the universe is showing you that listen this is no matter what how much you want to fight it or no matter how much you love your parents no matter how much you love your wife no matter how much you love your brothers these individuals they have never wanted you in the first place so they've always been like you know um destroying you or sometimes doing all these kind of things to you behind your back and you're now struggling to accept these kind of things so when you're talking about this journey of spiritual awakening so many things happen to an individual a lot of things happen and i've said there is so many things that can happen when talking about the dark side of being highly awakened but me as an individual those are the things i've seen if there is something that i'm not mentioned in this video you can always let us know in the comment section below and let us also know what has been your dark side as an individual on this journey of spiritual evolution when you when you, when you person that has spiritual awakened and you're walking this path of spiritual evolution and transformation let us know what has been your views and what has been your experience in your life and until then guys it's been always lovely to have you guys on board you can always book a session with me if you want to you made your network support to my channel if you want to. everything you need you will find that in the description section below and until then guys i'll catch you in my next one there's almost signing out peace